Hey, welcome back to um, Amnesia the Dark Descent. My first playthrough of this game. Um, I don't know which episode we're on, but you can see in the title. Feel free to check out the rest. The episodes before this one if you want to. So yeah. This is where we are at right now. So let's see, do we have anything here? We only have the same... The old notes. <clears throat> Hopefully that's not bugged, I'm a bit... Suspicious about that, because they haven't disappeared yet, even though I've done it. We do not have any fucking oil. We have uh, an empty glass container. I don't think we need water, do we? <laughs> okay. So, uh, let's see. What to do? We got chased into this place, though. We were supposed to go out, or we had to find some acid. Uh, melt a padlock and uh, then this motherfucker came behind us and we ran we ran yo <laughs> I know about the ladder I just wanted to not bring down the ladder I don't see anything else it would do uh, needs grease yo Needs grease. Uh, where am I supposed to find grease? <laughs> oh, in hell, I guess. It's dark as fuck, though. We have six center boxes. <clears throat> oh, look at this. Oh no, more water, dude. We, we've been killed by things in this. We've been killed by something in the water before. It's too deep. Maybe the lever uh, can lower it, right? Maybe that will open a hatch somewhere to get some of this water off. Uh, let's see though. To enter the sewer, it must first be drained, yeah. Yay, sewer! No notes on it, though. Why, though? Why, why, um... Aren't they giving us any notes? Um... And where the fuck... Can we find Greece? I think we have to go back to the person. I can't see any Greece, so. Huh? That's strange. Idea. This lava though might be for the lava, not not for um, getting rid of the water. I mean. Um, No chance in fucking hell. Glass jar was empty, right? No more acid for us. Careful, though.
We can't lift any of this. Right? To get up here. Have I missed something in this room? Is there anything I'm not seeing? Oh, think about it. Should be able to knock it down with a rock, dude. Do we really have to go back? <laughs> so this is oil, okay. Problem sold. Didn't see that. How much oil do we need? I think we're good. Nice. So we gotta go up so we can go down. Okay. Repair the machine powering the Eastern Bridge. More machines, yo. Okay, you gotta fix that one though. All that one's good. Control room, dude. System. It's so loud, dude. It's so loud. I like to have my volume high when I play horror games, dude. Fucks me up sometimes. <laughs> Immersion. serving water from the spring. Yes, it enables me to control the water in the drain sewers to some extent. Also, it can be used for all sorts of purposes. Like the drinking room? Well, that too. But mostly to run different machines. Ah, like water mills. Exactly. Alright. No oil though. We don't have any oil, dude. Um, doubt it. I'm scared of that fucking water monster thing. Oh, I can get lost in this place. Yep. Sure can. 
Probably will. How do I lower this? It is attached to a rusty chain, it is. Must be low while to proceed, dude. How do we fucking lower it though? Do we die if we uh, fall in the water? I don't know, man. Um, we need to find something, yo. We need to find some I think we fucked up, maybe. Okay, good. We can't do anything from here, right? We can't. Right. We gotta go another way, dude. Let's see. Another way. that yay he's back a motherfucker 7th of August 1839. There is no denying that Alexander puts a lot of faith into what I can only describe as magic. I'm not surprised. Even while traveling across Europe, I assumed I would have to embrace the supernatural to save my mind and life. As a novice, I do everything in my power to stay focused and not dwell too much on my own doubts. Alexander woke me up early and told me it was time we got started on our work. He was obviously excited to get going, and we headed downstairs to the old dungeon, where he preferred to attempt his rituals. <sighs> it turns out that Alexander is a true Renaissance man, paralleled only by Da Vinci, I'm sure. Mm. He showed me several rooms fitted for specific research, such as anatomy studies, alchemy, and botany. The crown of Brennenberg must be the inner sanctum, a most hallowed ground where we shall attempt to permanently banish the orb's shadow. Yeah, that fucking shadow thing, dude. Um, redirect sewer water, dude. Hopefully, are we redirecting it down here? There are valves in the system to re redirect water. Did we remove? Uh oh. Oh shit. Ah! Oh. Only me! Only I can do this! This is so fucking typical round. What? Where am I? It's not attacking us. Oh, piss, dude. Starting to lose a little bit of sanity, though.
A lot more valves? We probably need to find more valves, right? Water has begun slowly to fill the chamber. Is that, is that a good thing? Is that a good thing? Any valves over here? Only the bridge, right? Crystal clear. Few cuts and bruises. How do we lower this? I don't know if I want to go in the water, dude. it up yo so easy dude it's so easy this though that was just shit that was dog shit that was so fucking bad dude that was bad holy it's still down now dude it's still down there that fucking thing 8th august 1839 I could never be certain until today that I was on the right path. Using my orb, Alexander managed to channel its power unto us. The inner sanctum flared with blue, fiery light, and I could feel the same things I felt in the dark chamber in Algeria. It was like standing in a mad whirlpool of impressions. It was terrifying. But Alexander kept calm and wielded strange tools of science in order to tame the storm. Suddenly, the blue light was stained by strains of red, and the walls burst with pulsating tissue resonating with the scene. Oh, yeah. Alexander quickly covered the orb in some cloth, and the unspeakable thing vanished. Apparently, the orb's shadow is closer than Alexander thought. He said I should prepare for a warding ritual tomorrow. I'm not sure what he expects, but I have a bad feeling about this.
I don't think there's any more wildstone on now. I don't know if I was supposed to go back. He waited for his eyes to adjust to the dust. What happens if... Oh. We can try to go and see though. I kind of want to go into that machine room or whatever. But uh... Not yet, yo. So I know there's more valves inside uh, in the place we were at, or they're on the other side. We can't reach that without fixing something. So... Woo! A fucking course that had, that had to happen, right? Why, why wouldn't that shit happen? Just had to happen. Of course it had to happen. Ah! <laughs> Fuck! Fuck! Harvest the white thing. Of course I had to fucking almost die. Great! Out of oil, I could never play this game on hard. Uh, <laughs> pretty fucking sure that would go straight to fucking hell, dude. And I bet you fucking agree. Not right now. Uh, we're gonna check this door first. Was there a door? It's so dark. It's so dark. Like a counterweight or something. Question. That way and see if anything happened all this fucking way. This is probably stupid, but...
Okay, okay. But this is dog shit if something's going to chase us. Stairs to nothing, I guess, to the pipes, There's nothing on this, oh wait, what is that? Why are there so many holes? What's up with these pipes, these pipes, ending have all of them. Water, no. Is it? Wooden crank. Crank for a machine. fucking oil left. Machine, 13th of January, 1799. 1799? The work I have put into this machine is uh, unequaled by the uh, reasoning of any man. The thought that generations of men have passed away since I first attempted to reconstruct the design is most tiring. The limitations of this world have made my work incredibly difficult. It has forced me to build the thing almost a hundred times larger than the delicate contraption it tries to emulate. <clears throat> Not to mention the flow of tamed lightning crudely replaced by pressured steam. 
pushing its way through pipes and turbines. It shames me to think of what the inventor would have thought of my monster. Where he works with a magnifying glass to carefully fix all the parts. I push five men to erect a tower of wrought, wrought iron in the hope it will have even the tiniest hint of the power found in a traveler's locket. We need to put this pipe somewhere. That's busted, right? No? I was so fucking sure. I turn it. Do we need more? Like there's more holes, uh, pipe endings or whatever, I don't know. We gotta end this one though. 35 minutes dude, long one. Alright, let's see next time if uh, we fixed it or not.
maybe we have to find some more pipe pipe parts, right? Again, thank you a lot for being here. Thank you for watching. Thank you for liking if you did. I appreciate that a lot. Uh, uh, welcome and thank you if you subscribed. It's a very small channel, but hey, gotta start somewhere, right? And hopefully you have a great day, night, or whatever it is for you, okay? Peace.